would you support another lockdown because uh, no i don't no it's not necessary because mm. now we have the vaccines yeah yeah um in fact they are developing mm. other vaccines mm. because mm. the first vaccines were based on the original variants yeah attack of delta mm, mm. and now we have these omicrons and Ob- omicron has subvariants actually that subvariant is the one that is causing a lot of havoc mm. so just like the f- influenza vaccine na kwambe hu ina update your your mutations mm. eventually once you research happens they start having more whatever's mm. what work on a vaccine hakuna ja lockdown bana hey kwe cuz lockdown jo ileta hasara jo kuna zile mm, za na twezi survive twezi survive uchumi yenyewe sasa iko mbaya Yeah, yeah. So it's it's just a matter of uh, to do a covid bado iko duniani. Mm. Um we just make sure we are just very safe hygiene. Mm. Like I said mm. build your immunity. Yeah. Be yeah. more active, drink a lot of water, eat healthier. Mm. 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 Yeah, cuz kulikuwa na hiyo nini? Eh, yeah. I think ata tutu nini? Tutoke health kidogo. I love to mm. come back to health. Eh? Ata kuuliza juu a few things that have happened. So, mm. um The education CS are may ban morning and evening preps zawatoi mm. and you as someone who did medicine of course you must have been an A student so what do you think about that <laughs> Maze mimi nilikuwa A student in junior high mm. senior high mm. I think my final grade was a B B mm. plus yeah yeah um but yeah I I think being being a pediatrician let me just say mm that um there is intelligence mm. and then there is there is that intelligence of IQ na kuna intelligence inaitwa emotional intelligence yeah yeah it's more benefit or beneficial for your child to develop emotional intelligence hizo mm. zote ambaye nakula and they don't know how to adapt or react in a society yeah. it it aisaidi mtu yote mm. and that's why utapata like the prophet bn said yeah unapata a student yeah, working for a b student, b student company a c student yeah, yeah, na ma yeah. d student wana push yeah, ma yeah. benzo mm mm you know facts mm. you know facts also the educational system needs to be relooked yeah yeah because it's not like it was yielding the best results hata sasa hii ukiangalia wale wamepata c plus mm. and below yeah it's a it's a really really huge amount mm. it we're looking at the people who have d's and nini it's due how many 50s due 60% yeah yeah only 40% or so have more than a c plus mm, mm. meaning how in guinea their chances you know and so you ask yourself this constitution that we say kuna equality basic rights union all of those just mm. it's a it's an illusion So Olikwa what sort of student were you that wake up early sleep late sort of student what sort of student were you like ulipataje your balance me I think I've always been like a multi faceted kind of talented person yeah, yeah. I used to do a lot of sports in school mm. um so that was the main thing and then in high school nika discover music Mm. and I used to do that and then nikapata tu daro pia niko sawa when I study mm. siko mbaya nitapata ma biology chemistry nini ndiko ambata is but yeah, my final yeah. result was just b b b b b mostly mm, mm, and, and mm, 1a mm, mm. so ulikuwa show gani um hey so for me um nilienda high school nilisoma Botswana yeah Oh, okay, yeah, okay. in southern africa so uko yeah, yeah. i think it's i think cbc ndo ina ndo ina kuangana junior high school yeah, alafu yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah so it was the same but it was um o levels mm, mm. Uh, same thing so gcse mm, mm. so kulikuwa na junior high mm. na senior high oh, okay. so hiyo nilisoma in botswana my form 1 my first year in form 1 i did nilikuwa coast mimi nimezaliwa mombasa mimi ni mtu wa mombasa so yeah, yeah. primary paka form 1 mm. nilikuwa mombasa or prem form 1 Mombasa and then and then from Botswana eh, nikaenda Botswana mm. nikaanza form 1 tena mm. eh ndo nika nikamaliza mm. how is that country because from the outside looking in as Kenya guys you developed to just get those mm. like it's mm. very it's close to it's bordering on first world exactly eh, eh. the reason why it's developing very well or it was mm. is because that country had zero corruption eh eh Well they, they put it at around 1% but mm, mm. hakuna corruption yeah. 
and that's why i think why nikirudi kenya nimekuwa so traumatized and so yeah, vocal yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's because i've seen an african country develop much faster than us mm. that is smaller population of not more than 2 million people yeah, yeah. oh okay yeah mm, they mm. have money though yeah, they, yeah. They, they they have a lot of diamonds one of the mm, mm, largest mm, diamond mm, producers mm, in the world mm. and the zero corruption is the reason why they did it in such a short span yeah yeah because when i was there in the 90s when there was a brain drain in kenya yeah they didn't have teachers they didn't have lecturers they didn't they didn't have profession like uh, doctors ni 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 engineers mm. so a lot of uh, people from africa yeah, actually are the ones waka fundisha wase huko ni ni and mm. stuff like that mm. Mm. so they developed a lot in education mm. education was free mm. oh, okay primary secondary mm. paka university education was free mm. for their citizens and in fact in university uko unapata your stipend huko mm. oh, oh, okay. university students bana walikuwa na kula kitu kama 40k a month yeah shit and yeah. that was in that was in 2000s eh hizo ni 2005 6 cv watu wanakula 40k basi sasa hiyo ni locals eh hiyo ni locals hiyo ni locals for the country it yeah, makes sense yeah, yeah. and then kama ni kitu tunataka kusoma tuseme hiyo time hakuwa na medu cuz they're not doing med eh yeah, yeah. tutakusoma majuu endo usome majuu ukiingia mm. kavai takusimamia itakupea yeah, kila yeah, kitu yeah, yeah. so yo it's 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 a country so if you if you're in the wrong you're in the wrong mm. the cop so, gives you a ticket so lazima nikuulize mm. the former president is wanted sindio if i'm not wrong he's he's on the run he's in south africa unajua hivyo who former president of Ian Kama. Yes. How do is Kama is on the run? No, I don't, I don't know why he is this this new guy was just like fuck this dude. I want him in jail. Mm. So that's what I want so, to know cuz I always knew Kama, I always knew Kama as this very good president. So I'm wondering like what is this guy? Kama was a bit of a dictator because he comes from it's one of those he's one of those African prodigal sons, you know. Yeah. His his uh, his father was the first president or rather the first chief and walienda wakatetea Botswana wakakuwa protectorate mm, mm. Uh, from the UK government yeah. so kama is one of those eh yeah, na cheki like cuz you can't remove follow move follow cuz i always find african countries mm. that have done their thing to be very oh, fascinating snap. to me <laughs> so he's on the run because of this other guy and he did so much good so now i'm looking at this other guy like well so uh, once this guy came in even the guy before him yeah, yeah. so from i think for the past maybe five years or i would say a decade mm. corruption has started seeping in oh okay yeah okay, okay. so when i was there this is like uh, 99 2000 2005 to say me paka 2010 mm, mm. and then from 2010 wakapata tabia mbaya tu za african countries oh, okay. mm. so maybe unaenda mnapatana na leaders huko mnaangalia mm, mm. wengine and the, and the assets they have as they talk mm. with their cigars and golf and nini mm. yeah. na wetu huko hapo you, you have nothing to show for mm, mm. Yeah. you start that thinking. african greed mazi yeah, yeah. so yeah, ndoi kwa hivyo but mm. things are not so bad i can't say tuko ile level hata kama corruption iko sasa hii mm. sijui labda labda say to say iko maybe 10% yeah yeah Uh, compared to us eh hey, sisi tuko special yeah, yeah, yeah. uko uko i think it's uh, nene that's why you find you come some sort of tofauti corruption na iko 10% you're like oh this is interesting mm najua eh but so still uh nini tumehepa history ya preps i guess no but education is still important what i was yeah. trying to highlight is that this is a country that zero cor- corruption invested yeah. in its education mm, the mm. people now are learned most mm. of those people who went there have been sent back home because mm, uh, mm. now they have enough of, of their whatever their space at oko tulikuwa tunakula evening prep yeah. uh, well rather afternoon prep mm. you after lunch nini it used to be like from 2 to 4 yeah. mm. so oh, used to, na, like zile zetu za ku cause kama sisi Seko seko we used to we used to depend with which level i think i think for form 1 to form 2 form 1 to form 3 mm. perhaps is equal to 9 then up to form 4 perhaps is equal to 10 not okay kwa boarding sindio yeah ni kwa boarding and then you had to wake up waking up uh, it was illegal to wake up before 5 5 am but people used to still wake up before 5 but sa perhaps is a form 4 used to start like at 5 not check Yeah. Of course, so I'm all for that. I'm, I'm all for that because mm. the adolescent child 
yeah. requires more sleep mm. more than that 8 hours of sleep that we we want yeah, yeah. so in you know funny fact is when i became a pediatrician okay i didn't because i didn't go through the kenyan high school experience yeah, is yeah. in stories me up on a wife vile wow hizo hizo ma prep nini una mka 5 am yeah. mm, sijui mm, nini mm. so it was surprising for me to see as a pediatrician yeah. a 13 year old also in boarding school mm. who is clearly having anxiety mm. um some of it because of lack of sleep the mm. the the amount of pressure to excel from yeah, the teachers yeah. from mm, from mm. the principal so all that pressure builds alikuwa mm. anambia yeye unamka 5 yeah. preps ni ile paka 9 kwa anasema eh hey, how how much sleep do you have unapata mtu anapata like 5 hours of sleep mm. sasa zingine 4 mm. hours of sleep mm. and it's still going on till today yet we know the effect of sleep Yeah. good sleep quality sleep and mental health mm. uh for for these kids so i, I will definitely say yeah, so other than j- yeah, jokes mm. aside mm. ini kitu poa mm. because it it also should it shouldn't always be books there yeah, should be yeah, other yeah. things that the kids should be learning mm. Mm. like taxes like mm. financial literacy yeah, yeah. like if you're not getting at least nowadays they're doing a good job with, i would say with nutrition mm. with mm. climate change my mm. niece who is like nine now Mm. is at least kuna vitu wako more aware which i expect because yeah, the information yeah. is out yeah, there yeah. mm. 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 alafu nini uh, botswana kulikuwa na ujinga ya kwa mafuta kwa kwa chakula Ushe, na, uh, does it even work okay so uko bro eh hey, lakini uko maisha ilikuwa ni london mm. uko lunch mm. break yeah. free unalishwa una yeah. break ilikuwa inafika ilikuwa ni 9:30 ama ni 10 mm. na kuwa hizi ma, ma loaf hizi big thick slices mm either with apricot jam or yeah. peanut butter yeah, yeah like in private yes go public see in public me into yeah. public school public yeah. in yeah. public bro ikikwa oh. winter juu uko pia kuna winter mm, mm. kuna kwanga na njevi ikikwa ni winter ni chai moto mm. chai moto na hiyo loaf mm. ikikwa sama kuna kwanga na hii powdered hiyo watu wanaita nini kulaid sijui nini mm. eh yeah, yeah. yeah, walikuwa na hiyo wana blend mm. na kuja in different flavors hiyo ni breakfast yeah break time mm. and then once in excuse me once in a while a fruit utapata mm. apple ama umepata ndizi ni yeah, kitu kama yeah, hiyo yeah. lunch mm. bro kulikuwa na whole menu mm. there was only githeri once a week and it's not really githeri huko walikuwa na kitu kama mudhokoi tuseme ni mudhokoi hivi githeri ni kitu ni kwa inaitwa samp huko samp. it's called oh. samp but it's mainly mm. like it's mudhokoi it's maize zile ambayo haina ile ngozi yeah, kwa yeah. ile soft soft yeah. mm. na ina savio nani inasavyo tu hivyo so oh, that was sure. the only bad day okay okay, okay. No, Afu, um, i guess kulikuwa na beans kidogo walikuwa naeka beans usually butter mm. butter uh, butter beans so je nini naita hii pap eh hiyo sasa unaona eh kulikuwa na pap pia mm. pap, pap sasa ugali. utakula Uga- eh ni ugali lakini yes. ni ile tuseme ni kama ile ya, ya, ya Mombasa ile sima sima yeah, na kwanga yeah. iku ile ngumu mm, sana soft, mm, mm. ni soft but it's yeah, much much yeah. softer yeah. sasa unajua kitu fani vile mnanipamba vile mko ni soft the soft ujakani iko like hiyo kidogo ya hivyo bwana like yeah. mother like, mother na mother alikuwa na hiyo kitu juu mother yeah. mazel kwa zile za yeye hey, ugali ukirusha juu ikistick yeah, haija yeah, hiva yeah, yeah. yeah so but me because pen il grocos ile kwa soft me actually me enjoyed it Yeah. Budangu pia alipenda mm, mm. kwa soft hivyo. So so ulienda Botswana jonani ni mother Buda nani ali relocate? Um I think mother ndo alimege unajua married life. Mm. Wife akisema okay I think ni mother ali mm. convince Buda but it was one of those times for brain drain yeah. and then um, what had happened kulikuwa watu wako in tourism hotel yeah. industry na nini. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So after ile bombing mm. tourism was was a mess the 98 bomb yeah okay ile okay. bomb blast yeah 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 so when that happened and unajua ilikuwa pia tz nini so mm. east africa the whole yeah, thing yeah, industry yeah. really went down mm. so wako na opportunities huko mm. si wakaishia waka, waka waka relocate oh but was at where is him huko yeah so they okay. became tourism consultants mm. uh, mm. buying restaurants consultants while mm. run a few bars there while mm. open pia yao Yeah, bars yeah. and restaurants yeah. eh my hospitality hospitality industry mm. um yeah masa kafungwa ma hotel fulani huko wako huko ama walirudi ah walirudi walirudi yeah, yeah. Yeah. okay okay yeah. okay Let's so uh, so ina hii nini does it work ni kitu kwa kuuliza cuz hapa Kenya kama kuna mtu ajui if you've uh, maybe umesoma Botswana ka eh, Kenya kuna vile mtu yekewaga au yekati a little paraffin kwa food and this is to fight libido 
uh, libido ya ma teenagers does that bullshit work no i don't see how i don't yeah. see how is uh, mm. one of those myths Yeah, yeah. Kombo mafuta ita fight ita fight libido aje. Mm. Alafu ni kitu tunashindwa acha tu to steady to as long as we are operating because yeah. if you ask me if it worked me I still used to get my random erections like yeah. in class. So, so there so you have it. Yeah, there so you have it. Bullshit. Just feeding us with Walikuwa na kayo mafuta. Mimi nilikuwa na gadindo. Ukinusa nini dish mob ya high school yeah. you can mm-hmm. feel that capinch of paraffin, paraffin yeah. Yeah, it's specifically Ofteta. paraffin mm-hmm. yes yes it's not petrol cause maybe it's a lipokatumbo but it's paraffin yes walikuwa naika ga i love say let's go mjinga tenda na petrol hapo italipuka the whole kitchen eh kulikuwa na hiyo even but we should okay ni shaske ni shaske your story ni vile tu mm maze like we fight uh natural processes so much that's as ngino na shindwa na na hizi vitu zetu. Eh alafu still to stick na school. Umesikia hii story at we uh the, I think on the high court threw out the degree requirement for presidents. Huh? For presidents. Yeah. I had some shit like that. Mimi nilikuwa yeah. na joni ya MC. Ni ilikuwa ni MC za manyo. Yeah, I think MPs. kuna vile wamesema sasa hizi. Okay. Eh mnafanya mpaka na jichuku jo. Kenya president degree requirement. Yes, imetolewa. If I'm not ah, wrong, yeah. man. Everything is changing, man. Freedom is here. Yeah, so anyway. Do you think a degree is important? Do you think I think it would be your background. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, maze kuna kitu on, on paper in Kenya that sticks squarely. At the end of the day I I, do, I really don't know what to say. It could be that but wewe oh, unajua kuna watu wangapi wako na masters na ma PhD ambao wanasanya hii do mbaya mbaya. Yeah, yeah. So like I said there is IQ and there is emotional intelligence. Yes, yes. You can have high IQ. Mm. and still not not yeah, be yeah, yeah, yeah. an intelligent person. Mm. Si vile sitaki kutaja ma politician. Yeah, yeah, mm. najua. Azi zi, mi, 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 <laughs> mm. I I foresee a situation where someone like Sonko ends up being president and I'm not happy about that. Najua. Mm. Like una ile like I know you have money, I know men in what degree kadha, but that shit no. Na cheki. Jo yeah, kuna no. vetting ambayo inafaa kufanywa na yeah. and also CAT si lazima mtu apate A's and D's yeah, na nini. Wacha pia nitete ma student. Nitete pia kina songo na nini. Because tumeona pia wase ambao wamesoma sana. Mm, wase mm, kama kina Kidero yeah, yeah. ambao walikuwa Nairobi governor. Mm. Kuna watu wamesoma and still mm. the things they do or the things they did or the courts I mean the cases that are in court. Yeah unashindwa you can't say all these people right yeah, now yeah, hata wacha nisi wacha hata nisi pinpoint to kid mtu yote hapa sasa hii government know, from know, governors know, from senators mm-hmm, from what kila mtu hapo kwa na degree yeah yeah same old like, same old sa so, uh, shida ni kuna wale wamezipata easy shedi shedi mm. so so it's it's this thing where oh, me i think i'm not even fighting i'm not even fighting it because of degree because i know it's not important i'm just fighting the fact that vile gava imeingia na feel ni kama ameanza kurudisha kila kitu back to mm. like unajua like let's be as mediocre as possible because mm. unacheki saa hizi kitu ina happen hata na judiciary where everything is yes yes yeah yes like men are not happy with uh, uh, women sharing property after divorce yes when when yes mm. men notice it may go like it's like we are going back because mm. even the the whole thing of women and divorce women contribute if a woman sacrifices her career to stay in the house yeah. and raise the kids If you are divorcing she should get more than what she came she mm, came with because yeah, yeah. she sacrificed. Mm. Alaf we have all these kids now we have rich families where a lot of kids end up in boarding. Mm. And I'm there like if I'm rich I'm sorry kama we ni pro boarding but I always feel like if I'm rich I don't want my kid in boarding especially a primary school kid me i'm definitely anti boarding school and i'm, yeah. I'm hoping nasikia wanataka kuzi kuzifunga hizo yeah, boarding school. Yeah because Uh, so the only time muzi tetea ni for poor kids they make sense because a poor kid maybe place an issue kuna steamer mm. maybe it's an abusive mm. house it's kuna you understand mm. yeah, kuna nini that's why i talked about the wealth mm. wealthy people mm. so you'll find like all these wealthy schools uh, kids are uh, wealthy uh, like schools of wealthy kids Like for example see the Liza Hill Academy mm. uh, kuna Primo Flani ile malizaga uh, class 8 iko inaitwa St Patrick's Hill uh, ile sisi tulichukuliwa ndio to boost like the uh, average whatever long story mm. very rich kids they're like if i'm rich if 
fuck my kid is not going to boarding aren't mm. my kid around like what's the use of money if you don't enjoy it na watu wako people people have kids f- just for yeah, for yeah. having kids mm. raising kids is such a responsibility and not being there is is can actually be detrimental so yeah, a lot of yeah. people by the time we get what we they are so tired yeah watch our end boarding school mm-hmm. you know it's it's a way for for them to get a break yeah, yeah. middle class wealthy whichever mm. they that's that's one thing that they do but i have my reservations about boarding school if a boarding school is good there are some yeah. boarding schools that that are mm. good mm. um mm. i don't know about kenya but if it's done well yeah, and yeah. you really care about the child's well being mm. 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 growth nini kuna venye some boarding schools have shown to be okay but the majority of yeah is if you look at what's happening schools mm-hmm. are being burnt mm-hmm. um kids, the kids are, are beat up yani yeah. kids yeah kids are being beaten there is mm-hmm. bullying i mm. think the education system has to adapt has to evolve you yeah. can't keep shoving the same type of systems down these kids throats who are learning from online you you can't these are not people of it obey and juni nini mm-hmm. these are kids you need to nurture you need to mentor you need to steer in the right direction yeah, yeah. most of them already know what what it is they want and sometimes they even find school to be a joke yeah mm. so cuz that uh umeske history kuna like there's a deputy president who's been detained over some student's death this student's death i think happened in in uh, This was in uh, 2017. Mm. Uh, mtu Abby Noel Samuels. So kuna vile uh, deputy principal Elizabeth Wairimo Gatimo has been arrested because umto hii alidedishwa ni 2019. Mm. Like alidedishwa kwa chuo and it was this like they tried to cover it up. Ni kwa ni private school. Uh, no. I think the school was Gava. called what like uh, maybe ni, ni, ni chuo ya Gava. But you try Gatamba uh, Gatanga CCM secondary school. So I'm assuming it's uh, secondary kwanza. Yeah yeah yeah. Unachapaje hey. mtu hii mpaka adedi? Unajua? Yeah. I always give hey, a bullshit. Me, when I look back, maze mm. Botswana tulikuwa tunachapwa. Yeah yeah. Oh okay. Eh hey, huko tulikuwa tuna I think even towards the end, I think Kenya had stopped huko mm. ilikuwa bado and I think they've reintroduced it again mm. corporal mm. punishment. Yeah yeah. And funny enough, the Children's Act was revised last year 2022. Mm and before corporal punishment was banned in schools mm, mm. but the parent or the caregiver at home had the right to yeah kutandika mm, that mm. since then has been removed hapa kenya yes hapa kenya so sasa hivi ukichapa mtu wako na a cause or a create issue yeah you can actually be prosecuted for it oh. legally mm, mm. so it's Aye. definitely in the right step but Aye. it's still Aye. being done it's Aye. still happening private schools are still beating kids and yeah. you know that's that's the thing which is so sad is that um for me as a pediatrician is that you need to understand some kids are not hyper act- active or hi- hyper mm. for no good reason some mm. of them have disorders yeah, yeah. you know hyperactivity na no unaenda unachapa mtoto and by actually inflicting this trauma mm. kids brains are growing over time yeah mm. like nilikwambia tulianza nikikwambia we, we still have risk taking behavior until yeah, yeah. uko 25 mm. Mm. and the way that we whatever with the environment actually wires our brain into what it is in the future yeah. so if you're physically abused research has shown if you're physically abused you're tearing your adverse childhood experiences mm. Mm. it can actually increase the risk depending on how early it starts mm risk into develop uh, getting these developmental disorders with mm, mm, autism mm. you know later on in life depression mm. substance abuse mm. anxiety mm. easily yeah, to zote yeah, yeah. so why would you tolerate or beat a child until they die yeah yeah that's got to be a, a mental issue even for that teacher mm, mm. kwa mbona so much ni mambo ya you spare the child yeah, you spoil the ro- it's uh, spo- whatever you yeah, spare the child to, this, what you spare the road spoil the child yeah, spare the road yeah. you spare the road spoil the mm, child mm, bana hiyo mm. kitu imekuwa ikitumia such as such an excuse yeah, yeah. I, because I, I, nobody wants to take the hard route mm. of sitting down a child and try to understand from their perspective mm. or try to correct them in a way that doesn't involve beating yeah 
the easiest thing is to do is to grab a stick umtandike insert that fear so that the next time anajua mm. eh by then ikifanya hivi tena yeah. but mm. it's a bad kind of anxiety and it mm. has its long term effects yeah um, cuz ujulize the best schools in the world right now uh, even apart from cuz ngembe mtu like finland mtu anaweza what what comes from finland cuz i think nokia died but mm. if you talk about south korea and we talk about japan for example the countries of the sony's and the lg's mm. countries bringing out these super engineers mm. kids are not beaten not check it so it shows that this beating is not the way to do it even china right now as china advances into this country that it's becoming i've not had anywhere mtu akisema ati watu wana chapo china so we need to relook at how mm. we are teaching kids uh, of course I think like in kwa earlier this week and nikitu I hope wife anaenda ku handle kasi hivyo I'm going to have to handle it but earlier this week mtoyo ametoka chuo yuko scared namuliza kwa nini aniambeje someone was beaten now I'm there thinking like this is a fucking private school like we don't pay you to beat kids no you are public tuko tunapelekwa free so it's good if the government is whooping our ass but lakini wona lipwa a lot of money cuz you know private schools are expensive la fonta kuchapa watoto like if you can't Still, reason hata kama ni public school hata hey, hey. kama ni private school yeah, yeah. maze hakuna mtu akona hiyo right yeah, in kuchapa. fact mm. the fact that it is a private school hizo hizo ni hizo ni situation ya kuchoma tu picha kabisa yeah, yeah. uichome because it can't it can't keep going on we can't yeah, have yeah. rules kwa sababu mm. juzi nimeona clip nyingine ime circulate watu yeah, wengine akichapa chini ya mguu yeye tuko kwa hivyo sisi to, to conceal mm. the the bruising See, see, see. They they don't do that conceal. They it's been normalized so much because it got Nacha Poivo Olympic mm. State, Olympic State Primary School. We so it's to not to worked. conceal. Mm. It was just to inflict pain. They don't care if you go home limping. Why? Because they've made these kids mothers know education is everything. And if your kid dies while getting education, fuck the kid as long as the education stays back or something. Mm. I don't know. Mm. But that's what New York misconception to yeah, yeah, about like education. It's education is which yes it can be life changing but the kid has to stay alive otherwise it becomes useless if the kid mm. dies while pursuing it sio kila mtu anaweza learn at the same speed yeah, yeah. you can't be 40 people in that class and all of you are going to understand at the same pace yeah, yeah. everybody ha- comes from a different background mm. one in four children have these issues of developmental issues yeah, yeah. of learning so tena unaenda kupata mwingine hapo unaanza kumchapa mm. not because they want to they can't concentrate or they, they want to, it's because they, they they actually need guidance mm. they need they need you to pinpoint and refer okay hey huyu vile kuna nenda ebu let's aende akakuwa reviewed na na developmental doctor ama mm. on a child our to childhood educators who can actually pick up these these things yeah. and actually huko Kenya tuko na special schools and and things like where they can actually get help Mm. to improve hiyo mambo ya kutandika man it's it's something we need to unlearn na ni sababu it's it's something that the worst thing is mtu atasema ah si hata mimi nilichapwa na mm. look mm. at me mi si niko sawa I'm, i'm doing okay it means that it worked yeah, for, yeah, yeah. for hey, you and that that really gets to me like when people say at look at me i'm like you're damaged if you think cuz a lot of yeah. things people still believe like even beating up their kids mumbe gato i'll not teach you how to raise your kid but mu feel like what wengi wana believe in that violence shit uh, like you have to use violence to mm. get your point across and always take it as just poor parenting either how uh, can't a parent because if mm. you wanted to be a parent you should have enough time to reason with the kids mm. kids are frustrating I'll, I'll say as that. hell like as fuck they'll fucking piss you off mm. like we me ka mtu wangu like emotional intelligence yake bado kuna things she needs to work on like she'll make like i think it was yesterday she made like this super funny joke mm. sisi tukapasua but her, she thought we were laughing at her mm. she, she got old whatever so now you have to so you see at some point you're like you will get annoyed with the kid because you're like what the fuck that was just funny we are laughing at the joke not you mm. and you have to try and get them out of that space so i understand that frustration mm. but if you get frustrated enough to t- start hitting kids mtu brain ija develop shaanza kumgonga hivi una cuz i think even kuna african kids who like the beatings that are ufanyaga brain i develop food yama and it's it's because that mm. parent probably used to get beaten yeah yeah they don't they don't know better 
Mm. So even them the way they they know how to handle such a situation ni violence ni, ni violence ni kuchapa mm, mtoto mm, mm. two is what you're saying they just don't have the time they're just yeah. lazy they don't want to actually take the time to raise this child yeah, yeah, yeah. it takes a lot of time sacrifice patients to raise a child properly watu wataki wanataka shortcut peleka mtoto boarding school mm. chapa mtoto you know those, think, oh, those believe, things believe raising a child well ni the child being quiet you understand that mm, obeying like, yes have just been quiet like what wa kuboki kwa hapa nyamaza mm. that kid will learn nothing and that's sure. why kenya is the way it is mm-hmm. because none of us were taught to speak up for ourselves mm. when you're told something you follow that is why the government can do whatever it wants because we we follow yeah. we follow tukambe ni hivi na hivi you don't you don't ask questions yeah it comes for elections and you have four people there who who don't even represent any of your Yeah, things or yeah. recycled politicians as i like to call them just mm. different parties yeah it just means that we don't know how to ask questions and that's not the way to be raised that's mm. the reason utachapa job ambaye haikulipu poa yeah, ukaya yeah. po for a long time yeah. ikukule in that toxic environment you mm. become more unhealthy you take it out on the alcohol you take it yeah. out on the kids because mm. you're not progressing but you don't have that courage to overcome yeah. or speaking out or standing up for yourself or saying listen i mm. can do better for myself mm. Mm. what i mean in the somewhere else how do you think autistic children survive in public schools hey cuz i'm sure at asis to learn with autistic children and we never knew it was autism we never knew if it was you know it was dyslexia The yeah, there are different there are different things yeah something mm. like dyslexia is where you can't really put words together yeah, sometimes yeah. numbers yeah there's there's a number of developmental disorders that mm. some because some of them uh, some kids live with them s- in a subtle way yeah such as attention deficit hyperactivity mm. disorder mm. um the spectrum autism spectrum disorder is is yeah it's very broad mm. so it can present in different ways where they might o- just seem uh just like a normal uh, child yeah mm, a child mm, who is mm, and mm. not to say that they are not normal they're yeah, all yeah, normal yeah, kids yeah. but basically their cognitive uh, function is much much better mm. or than other other kids yeah mm. so those those kind of situations have improved because like i said we have special schools nowadays yeah, yeah. so there are actual special s- public schools yeah, in kenya okay. where they take kids um so that because they need to be taught different like mm, i said mm. you're 40 kids in a class you can't learn the same mm, way some mm, of them mm. visually some of them musically mm. so you just have to tap into each because they are all brilliant kids yeah, yeah, yeah. intelligence someone it's just the way that they communicate is different from your mm. way of communication and mm. it all involves the wiring in the brain mm. how the different um, brain parts communicate with each other so public at least say eco um, mm. we need to do more yes yeah. definitely um, i feel like there needs to be such a school in every like every ward um. yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely definitely maybe in every county yeah if yeah. we're going to start dividing ourselves into counties definitely yeah. every county should should be able have. to have those schools to cater for them because yeah, city yeah. wako kidogo there is mm. there's a lot and we're still seeing more and more kids mm. who are um are getting into the spectrum or, or being diagnosed one because the science has improved mm. two is all the environmental changes and the genetic changes that have been mm. going on mm. alafu pia mazet sasa we need more of those specialists alafu kenya ni moja tu yeah naza sema so kawe we ni zambia what should a parent look out for uh, ile kana fikiri ya mtoto wake anza kwa autistic like what should they look out for uh, so a number of things mm. um, most of the time is how they how they emotion yeah mm. some of them in extremes they are very reserved yeah, yeah. and kept to themselves mm. um, they are repetitive behavior yeah Uh, they might just be focused on one task and just repeat 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 yeah. repeat mm. um that one of being kept to yourself not being able to socialize with other kids yeah yeah um becoming very agitated mm. so what we usually term as a tantrum mm. but a tantrum that lasts for more than 15 20 minutes yeah. and it just doesn't stop mm. um sometimes it can go to extremes mm. to come ahead banging banging the head on the wall or mm. self harm mm. those are now like extremes 
and then in attention and you can't you can't focus on one task mm-hmm. you know for for more than 15 minutes you can't focus on one task those i think are the few things and mm-hmm. it usually comes with with age mm-hmm. so these things you it it takes it you need a really meticulous eye uh, yeah, yeah, as a healthcare yeah. worker to pick it up mm-hmm. mm. Oh, uh, but eh, but ni poa vile unasema public schools have started looking out for that cuz I always when I look back at Chuo kama Olympic Estate, I always give it as the example mm. and I think about how many times I saw kids being beaten really badly. Mm. And at that time I thought they were not good enough in maths, they were not good enough in this. Um, I thought they were playful too, may uh, playful ama concentrate. Mm. But with time na kama na landa, there this all other this Uh, these conditions zile inza kwa mtu hii ya concentrate jia hiyo na kwa ADHD mm. eh, eh, eh. so kuna hizo zile that time they were not there so the only solution the teachers had was violence mm, kuchapa mm. but eh. because even the teachers and you see nowadays also um I don't know but I'm hoping even in the public schools I do guess the teachers when they undergo that training yeah, yeah. there is a section of uh, childhood development because mm. you'll find that most of the times at our zazi sio wao wame pick it up yeah, yeah. it's the teacher who will tell you say eh hey, umtoi mm. compared to the other students it's like he's not grasping certain things yeah, yeah. It's usually when akwambia enda special special school or endo kaone so and so right. so this this is what i discovered when i was doing my when i was doing my masters in child health mm. um tulifanya child psychiatry na tulikuwa touched up kenyata so that's when i discovered that schools and these special schools play such a big role mm. because they start there they see a, a basic educator but somebody who has experience in uh, childhood development wakiona mm. imezidi ama ina point out to like an autism or a ADHD and i'm sorry if i'm if i'm una just squeeze you have to be so careful how you term these yeah, things that yeah. we just used to throw around yeah, yeah. you know you things like utter retardation you can't you can't yeah, yeah, use yeah, yeah, yeah. um being politically correct so mm. and also sensitive for those yeah, living yeah, with yeah. the spectrum mm, mm. um unapata wanatumwa na wanasaidiwa mm. so some used to come to the child psychiatrist from being referred from a teacher mm. So unapata hapo sasa mkiha hiyo conversation na mzazi unasikia ah, ni, ni mwalimu alisema sijui mtoto ako hivi tumemleta tu amwangalie mm. and then now we sit down and actually get the history try to see made kama na mchapa nyumbani some of them yeah. unapata wanachapwa home mm. wanakuwa punished wanafungiwa kwa closet you know mm. such mm. things that mm. to them it seems normal or unajua pia pia mzazi unakasirika yeah. haya hajui mm. So a lot of it now the teachers are the ones who pick it up but mm. back in the days they didn't have the education they didn't have the knowledge mm, mm. Mm. yeah because and as a nini it's a very sad because i feel like joke to come hiyo kuna a lot of people who get dropped along the way because mm. kuna ule mali motakwa i can't deal with you anymore mm, mm, mm. cuz that i mean remind like such a funny story that bobby mapesa alikuwa anatupatia like the fact that in high school he was a few teachers used to think he was like he was not a good student he wouldn't listen he wouldn't what so it reached a level where like two of his teachers told him mini kingia wona toka and these are for subjects he's supposed to be doing so for this two subjects i think it was chemistry and what he had to study by himself because mm. this person this adult had reached a level where the adult felt i can't deal with this kid anymore Mm. and now the only solution was meaning kwa class wana toka unaona and of course when he told us the story at ukienda watch your clip tuna tunacheka but then eventually you come down and sit down and like this was such a useless teacher because lazima u try ku reason mm. amtoi mm. sile like states na kwa gani na kama amekushinda yeah refer to somebody else hata yeah, yeah. kama ni mwalimu mwingine for starters yeah, yeah. ama have your conversation but kumbuka <laughs> kitu moja ni mwalimu mwalimu is such an important yeah. part in society the mm-hmm. one of the most important people mm. that should really be taken care of mm. mwalimu is one of them yeah, those are yeah. those top top occupations mm. because they are the ones responsible for the future mm. they also the ones responsible for your child yeah, yeah. and like i said you are growing in childhood your environment especially school environment will will judge the type of life you're going to live mm mental health um educational career pro- progress emotional intelligence all of that to be the the great person that you're supposed to be yeah so kama ta- tayari mwalimu unajua hamlipwi kenye mnafaa kulipwa yeah. ama mwalimu kwa hapo 
three months you haven't been paid you have kids you kona nini eh tayari kona ma stress zake i'm not saying that this is yeah, this should yeah, be used yeah. as an excuse mm, mm. but kuna kuanga na hizo factors they're not housed well they don't get promoted salary delays mm. vitu mob hizo mavitu kina sociona amekuwa ki push na ki fight watu ma CBA ni nini ni. yeah, so hizo yeah. vitu i think they usually add up mm. you know they contribute also the teachers mental health mm, the teacher mm. becomes more Uh, unstable emotionally yeah, 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 yeah. and who's going to who's going to face the brunt of that it's the child mm, mm. so if you don't take care of the teacher that it, it will become a bit harder but lakini kuna wale walimu we have to also say shout out to wale walimu ambaye despite hizi vitu zote still educate still, the kids still mm, wanajitolea mm, mm. unajua ni zile ni zile job ni kama tu like a nurse nini mm, unajua mm, unalipo ufala ni nini lakini mm, mm. You, you try to do your best because what i mean kombusha like even with uh, a school that was used violence as much as yochuan likuwa yo olympic tested there's one teacher i i had she passed away i call it mrs wandera and i've never forgotten her because she was very gentle mm. she even if she used violence once in a while ilikuwa gaile because that was the school policy mm. but for her When I think about her I always think about she was very math- motherly. Mm. Yeah. And then I have the ones like the headmistress we was like going to Mrs. Nganga she was super violent. I have like such kulikuwa na msel kwa Mrs. Tonya she was super violent. Mm. So not I think it's uh like one of the icon in fans uh, right now she's based in California. And it was D. D sasa D was giving us a story where Mr. Tonya would see them going to school because walikuwa neighbors and he'd run so that he reaches school before them and punish them and that's an adult mm unasikia hiyo like kulikuwa na another si botswana kulikuwa na wale walimu as in the ulikuwa na joy yani ukichapwa na huyo mwalimu and then they hear these rumors kwanza wao ni kama it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. it's even unaongeza wanataka ku uphold hiyo title ya hiyo yeah, yeah. fear yeah. Mm-hmm. so that so that when they they demand something you obey when i tell you to study and if you get a c ama yeah, ukipata yeah. d mm. ni kiboko fulani and and things like that mm. so it's i think hata ndo dilikuwa anashindwa like is it that in africa because me sasa ni tukibonga sasa mambo ya corporal punishment wengine yeah. wananiambia in kenya what they used to do mm. si tulikuwa tunachapwa mkono huku siku i don't think we yeah, used to yeah, get si tulichapwa kila pale eh yeah, mm. si mm. everywhere mm. but mkono sana yeah, you know yeah. behind because olympic ilikuwa na hizo Mm. Alafu apart from hiyo kulikuwa na hiyo tukotu namba tu lale kwa desk tunachapo kwa mgongo on some slavery shit. Kulikuwa na hiyo tunachapo hivi ya chini ya migu. Mm. Um ile mkilala chini I remember like there's this one teacher like uh since the best in a mother I can't uh, but he was an asshole also. This dude used to like analalisha watu hii chini kusa mimi alikuwa at least anasikiza na madhia kwa nani do that bullshit. Mm. But alikuwa na nini alafu he jumps with a pipe and then lands mm, like you're like the an adult man like ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah and this kids have to go through this exactly and this is the introduction to the world cuz so forget that this person was just from the womb like let's say it's a nine year old kid this kid has been on earth for nine years mm. and you're introducing them to this level of violence unaona even if they've been on earth for 10 years 11 years mm. 14 years these are kids mm when i introduce to a certain level of violence ile i make sense mm. Mm. Ile, ile, that's the misconception of what doesn't kill you makes you stronger it actually yeah, comes yeah. with ptsd yeah, yeah, yeah. that's that's just facts mm. and mm. at me if i think about wale walikuwa in chapel of course i don't have the best uh, memories and then the worst thing ni too they, they'll tell you the same thing kanza mm. kwambia or if you try to confront and that's the problem i have with you know toxic things or going back to confront either your parent yeah, or, yeah, or yeah. teachers of vile walikuwa wali natuchapa mm. wanakwambia hey, look at you now si le, le, leo ni daktari unaona yeah, kama yeah. singekuchapa haungekuwa daktari mm-hmm. do you know how not you are sijui nini yeah, vitu kama hizo mm-hmm. it, it's because i beat you that yeah, that's you are who you, mm-hmm. you are today but mm-hmm. at the same time you're the same person who has to deal with ptsd mm-hmm. with anxiety substance abuse mm-hmm. all of those things don't come into your life just yeah. Evo yeah. evo. Mm-hmm. These are all things that we were exposed to in childhood and that's why na, na semanga, hey, millennials. Yeah. Millennials ni generation moja as in it's no wonder suicide rates are high. Yeah, yeah. You know it's it's no wonder alcohol, alcoholism is on the high, um, mm. substance abuse, domestic mm. violence, yeah. all those things. Mm. 
because tunashinda tukisema ah sisi tulichapwa na tuko sawa but yeah. uko sawa are you really okay mm, mm, mm. if you look at millennials wale 80s kwenda juu mm. yeah wako na hiyo until 20s juu ni ngapi ba eh yeah, yeah, utapata yeah. all of us are dealing with something mm, mm, yeah. yeah alafu nini uh, t- uh, going back to school um nini how's uni ulisomea wapi Eh, uni nilisomea Russia. Si nikwambia mimi nilikuwa B, B plus student. So yeah, yeah. na nilisomea Botswana. Mm. So nilijua Kenya already hapo I don't make the cut. Yeah, okay. It would, it would have been hard to explain also why nilienda secondary Botswana as mm, mm, Already mm. there were so many questions. Mm, mm. Then Botswana didn't have um, a medical university. Yeah, okay. Nilikuwa nataka kusoma med. Mm. Um, after really sitting down it was either to do marine biology or Medicine. or medicine or mm, mm. something with the sciences or biology i was interested in that stuff mm. na agriculture sikuenda poa because nilikuwa pia na mwalimu mbaya yeah yeah i wanted to do something in that so nikaenda nikasoma russia yeah okay yeah so russia it was it was actually almost the same or slightly cheaper than med would have been in un in some yeah. parallel pro- program oh, okay okay yeah, yeah. so russia even, university nito Um, so I was in St Petersburg Pediatric Medical oh, uh, oh, oh. University at that mm, time it mm. used to be called academy. Mm. Also oh, you just only so much to do Well no 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 no. Mm. It just so happens actually it's, I I did a general medical yeah, degree yeah, yeah. and surgery but um it just so happens that it was a pediatric um university yeah, yeah. because it, it had a pediatric hospital mm. but um Neo to I guess it's just fit yeah, would have yeah. it nika nika venture into into pediatrics. Yeah, yeah. But it was interesting as nearly under time I realized my black skin is different. Yeah, yeah. Um because in Africa you don't you don't get much yeah, because you're the majority. Races. Yeah, sisi ni majority. Mm, mm. Mara kwanza kuitwa monkey, you know, mm. nigger. Mm. Those oh, things. Yeah. So mm, mm. it's also away from home. It's a yeah. cold place. Yeah. So na kulikuwa na bit of um, radicals mm. uh, there's a, when I went I think it was the time where this um, neo nazis or skinheads far right yeah, yeah neo nazis yeah. were really really mm. on the high which is so weird because mm. when you look back in history Russia fought Germany so yeah, yeah. you didn't understand why they'd be pro yeah, yeah, Hitler yeah. pro mm. nazi mm. type thing yet it, mm. while you were the, so many of their mm. ancestors mm. and yeah, you yeah. know so That's what we found kulikuwa na hiyo movement mazao walikuwa na wasi kutoka different places yeah. oh. um especially hizi ma surrounding uh, po- post soviet countries hizi yeah. ambazo ziko karibu na Afghanistan eh hizo ma Kazakhstan because mm. these 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 are guys who look more brown yeah. so sote yeah. tulikuwa tunaitwa blacks yeah. Yeah. lakini wana kawa hindi wa hindi wa arabu arabu mm. wengine wana ka to chinese chinese mongolian mm. hivi mm. mm. Sote tulikuwa na nywele ya black so sisi all of us were mm. tulikuwa tunaitwa black so even you ulikuwa at risk of the same fate as the Kazakhstan yeah, dude dude we used to f- i think the first three years was bad the yeah. first two and a half years kutoka 2005 paka 2009 hivi mm. mani 2000 yeah 2000 kulikuwa normal yeah, yeah. guys used to get killed mm. it was bad it it actually started making international news and you know like mm. Russia for the longest the west in nini you wouldn't really hear stories about Russia until now mm. foreigners started dying african students were getting killed um mm. sometimes it's even international students from other countries that are not unajua africa wakiuliwa they don't care yeah, yeah. so when it's when it's a, uh, a black person or or a caucasian of a certain country yeah, then it yeah. raises mm, issues mm, mm, mm. So yeah man tumepigana na na maskin heads sisi visu ni so ni kila kitu to survive you had to just stay in campus ama like yeah so you, we found ourselves you go to school mm. unatoka hostel mm. the only time there was movement now mm. ukitoka hostel kwenda uni yeah that was basically it for most people mm. most people that's how they survived um, um Russia mm. and then sasigina unajua lazima u commute ju you are attached to a different hospital in a different mm. kama ile maybe the one for surgery mm. there used to be heart hospitals so ukifanya hizo rotations hizo za cardiology nini unapata mm. sasa hamko campus muna muna mm. ku locate mm. re, ku, ku travel so you have to use like the subway nini yeah, nini yeah, yeah. metro ilikuwa inaitwa metro yeah. so you can encounter these people mm. lakini sasa mtu kama mimi mm. 
mimi ended up um, ku make extra income mm. by this time nilikuwa nishakuwa rapa ni nini yeah, nilikuwa yeah. na, na MC kwa ma clubs mm. just for extra do yeah hizo za zao yeah hizo hizo clubs zao so they used to have certain clubs mm. za R&B hip hop yeah 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 so hizo so, hizo did you make sure you had like a white friend you could move around with yeah um, so that's like how I yeah friend. that's how I survived this yeah. I got I got uh, yeah I started to speak to the people got white friends mm. got a white girlfriend mm. you know in a, also over time it's ni kama Kenya eh yeah, yeah. unajua kuna mta fulani mm. hawezi tu enda at a certain time yeah, yeah. unajua unaweza 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 enda west mm, uende mm. sijuizi ma mall ni nini utakuwa tu sawa mm. lakini ukianza kusema eti oh sijui twende sijui downtown eh yeah, yeah. kusema unaenda au mall unaenda sijui wapi and you, and you don't know people yeah, yeah. and you stand out mm. then you know you're, you're putting yourself at risk so you try to avoid mm, mm. and that's how and but eventually see i'm thinking a white girlfriend puts you more at risk because now it's this nigger blood so yeah, yeah to, definitely um to mess up the aryan aryan blood i i but I you get to shiba. know the culture more mm. I could, I, me for me i could okay nilijua to you know kama like public displays of affection yeah, i think at some point fun. yeah even me and my girlfriend had to have that have that discussion of eh hey, at least kwa metro hapa tuna we are making out ni nini we just yeah. provoking yeah, yeah. certain people mm. so at some time sometimes unaifanya tu just just out to ngine pia unajua hiyo young pia mm. kuna ile uchokozi ni nini yeah, yeah. mimi pia nilikuwa hot head used to be mm, hot tempered mm, mm. and things like that um but it helps you understand mm. the culture the language more yeah. my language improved a lot yeah, yeah, more than what, i learned in class cuz you know to kuuliza like now you are from botswana mm. you speaking in english mm. you go to this country where i'm sure they teach in they teach in, 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 mm. in, in russian. russian yeah and but the writing writing they write normal yeah hakuna hakuna latin russian. alphabet yeah wako yeah. wako na alphabet yao so you had to learn that too i had to learn Shit. and then how long did you now before you start going to class to now learn medicine so because i enrolled to study medicine in russian the language mm-hmm. i had to do one year learning the language first yeah, yeah. so my first year there was just learning the language class okay. Nini. okay okay and i was so uninterested in going to russia actually because mm-hmm. nikikwa botswana mazendo nilikuwa i was around 16 15 16 mazendo nilikuwa nisha make waves nilikuwa radio yeah, yeah, yeah. na hip hop show oh okay so mimi nilikuwa nataka pursue music yeah, yeah. i knew in my head degree lazima but mm. music ndo kitu nilikuwa nataka ku pursue yeah. so i was so disinterested even hiyo mambo ya ku apply russia nini hata mm. ni mother ndo alini push ni nini mm. so hata nikiland siku jo hiyo story ama let i didn't do any research yeah jo hata ile time tulenda kwa embassy Russian embassy most of the books were in English when you Saint Petersburg ni kasi na huko kuna kapoa acha nitaishia tu kulandi hivi unapata mawardings to like different everything yeah so nili learn to ka interact na wase hip hop um is what created friendships broke barriers because i'm sure there are those i'm sure there are those like white kids who love hip hop so much yo the hip hop culture like, is so deep come here and they are like they now embrace you they see exactly, you exactly exactly yeah, yeah. i think that's exactly what it was actually and mm, mm. it was because it was starting out like an underground movement yeah, yeah. as you can imagine hip hop was a black thing from from america but it started tapping in it started coming mm. and they really were into the culture like b-boying yeah, yeah. graffiti they used to mm. have dj competitions uh, mm. battles all all that stuff mm. so it was a good thing to be a part of um, yeah mm. not oh. to really contribute i can say that the movement we started there even with my guys nearly mm. to watch your place kama the foundations were laid and, and now mm. it's hip hop is one of the biggest genres now yeah, yeah, but so, yeah. so of course wasani wao wana speak in the language so yeah, that this, same kama yeah, hapa yeah, yeah, yeah. well mm. sisi bado hip hop i wouldn't say is the largest genre but yeah, yeah. imekuwa ni kitu mainstream kitu ambayo unaweza ku, ku survive mm, on mm, unajua mm, mm, mm. mm. oh so nili uh, yoka friend ule the russian friend ule uko ma best nae bado anapasi yali pasi medicine ama no 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 wow ali i think him he did something in finance mm. the the nice thing i used to like about those guys is that people just they used to study just i think it was the same thing wazazi tu wako mm. happy mm. wapate degree they used to do that but they never used to pursue mm. 
most of the time they used to pursue what yeah. they studied. So they ended up being rappers. So yeah, people became artists, people mm. musicians, nini nini. Mm. So Yuko, we, we actually have a we recorded some stuff last year. Mm. So yeah. Bado yuko yeah. is, yeah. is still pushing. Yeah, so he is speaking in Russian. Yeah, so oh, okay. yeah, in That's Russian. Some some okay. some some sometimes to push English to yeah. nam nam write your rhymes and and a rap in English. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. But in a conscious the power of hip hop, like yeah. this genre of music that you'll find like the most racist country, but what wame wanna gravitate like you'll find the few people who are not racist as co- are because of the music. Like the exactly. music has that that power. Because that uh, kuna time at in Japan, hip hop had become so popular that some kids used to even try and put nakwa wa ikwana do for disrespect, but they try and darken their skins. So mm. some kiwi. And mm. these are Japanese kids. Like just because of the power of the, the music. culture. Yeah. Like they want to be like that. Uh, I think even there is uh Nene, uh, like one of our guests, Alikujapa, and it was Evan Smsoka. He's right now based in Japan. Alikuana Sema Ivo. Like there are places where you go to, and everyone just wants to be black. Like parts of Japan. Atikuna ma Japanese wale. Like they've embraced the culture so much that sasa wuki and as a black person, they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. bro, hip hop is such a force because, uh, like, I remember in Russia, like. Of course, the the newer the artist, the more the budget. Mm-hmm. Um, and because the cohort of guys who used to listen to hip hop was not so big, mm. even bringing like the the newest rappers at the time, mm. not unless in concert kubwa. So yeah, they yeah. used to have such a respect for hip hop and I say old school. Watu kama sai, watu kama kina Onyx, yeah, MOP, yeah. Mm. kina Busta Rhymes, kina Snoop, kina Fifty Cent. Okay, it's madness. Mm, Guys, mm. they sell out Izo shows. Mbaya, yeah, wasi ambaye ukileta hapo anasema ah sasa nyinyi mnatuletea wazee, Juma Wutang, Masiri nini. There they actually those mm. are the, the shows that really really mm. sell out. Ukipeleka mm. kina Migos ni okay, pia kuna young guys labda yeah, 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 but yeah, but itakuwa as powerful as Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And those are the guys nasema wa literally fighting racism around the world without even knowing. Because mm. like when they had fans, this was super fans. Ilikuwa gawatu wanawapenda kabisa. Oh, so hiyo hiyo ni kwa experience. Uh, yeah, it was an interesting experience. Mm, mm, mm. Very very inter- baridi minus 35 degree weather. It, when I look back at sometimes I'm like how did I survive? Yeah, yeah. Unajua? E minus 33 uh, we are talking about centigrade ama centigrade Fahrenheit. bro. Yeah. yeah. Yes, oh, unafungua hapo okay. unaona ni minus 30. Mm. Na kufika class lazima utoke nje uinge kwa bus. Mm. Cuz hostel yako maybe is like Three four kilometers from mm, the mm, campus, mm, mm. or whichever hospital you're going to. Yeah. Mm, minus twenty five, minus twenty. Mm, I don't think I didn't ask you. Now these hospitals, I, I'm sure a few patients didn't want to be touched by niggers, Ama. So, um, mm. what was clear is that all the patients, it was nikamu ki admit you kwa um, Kenyatta. Kenyatta yeah. is a teaching hospital. Yeah. Kenda yeah. uh, any teaching hospital. So mm. all those teaching hospitals mm. when a patient akiingia wana mm. sign mm. claim that this is a teaching hospital there are nurses there are mm. doctors ni nini mm. and you are you are actually granting permission mm. for these people to examine you because it's part of their learning process yeah yeah so I personally i don't think we had any encounter yeah, okay. um walimu walikuwa anaenda i think beforehand or whatever uh, wana, some, uh, the, t- the students are coming mm. and uh, you might one. be surprised mm. uh, they are foreigners so mm. Mm. Uh, you you seek permission but mm. they've already mm. granted you know see yeah, you yeah. unless you're just an asshole yeah, yeah. so we've never sorry. really and in fact wakitona they used to be surprised they were very interested oh where are you from nini wanaona mwingine kutoka philippines oh umetoka wapi mwingine kutoka morocco congo you know seeing all these different most of them are like that some of them they still mm. that who have that neo nazi element yeah. 
of course i don't think to lipel but yeah, yeah. we had the opportunity to examine nini mm. kulan mm. all those things because a lot of people by the way we get a lot of flack at you oh ni watu ambao mmesoma sijui wapi mnaenda mm. huko sijui maju they don't allow you to touch patients it tulikuwa tuna tuko yeah, access yeah, tulikuwa yeah. tuna surgeries unaingia ndani mm. una scrubbing unaona hizo surgeries the same way that happens huko you went to mm. 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 oh okay so uh, in hindsight Well, you were in ama you St Petersburg which one would you choose if you could choose again he ile trauma you and ilinipea masters mm. eh all the masters you and eh you and imefanya masters i okay. did my pediatrics in you and mm. eh masters in pediatrics and child health mm. sasa huko nilisoma tu general medicine yeah, yeah, yeah. but i wouldn't change it because the experiences there mm. have made me the person i am today resilient mm. still mm. traumatized yeah uh, CTUN singe kula trauma but it mm. was mm. i like the experience it was a different culture to experience mm. different mm. languages mm. um i studied with so many people from different parts of the world so you yeah. you got to tap in into different cultures understand mm. how different countries their systems work mm. 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 so i wouldn't i wouldn't um i think that experience as much as education it it educated me in the sense of seeing the world cuz nikiko huko nikianza ku gig nilianza ku gig nika travel finland to mechapa show so i saw finland kachapa ma shows kazakhstan so uzo akina kazakhstan there you are traveling now as a rapper yeah oh and yeah. from day one you dr rain ama ulikuwa anaitwa b rain oh b rain yeah okay. so okay. that was my name hmm. mc b rain b standing for dash rain so my first name that i really hate using is mm. brian oh okay okay yeah so it became b rain and then mm. after that after ni kwa doctor rain ndoni ka switch to to doctor rain yeah which is yeah. really dope because in aga kazi le za inako doctor strange doctor rain yeah exactly <laughs> yeah. it was it was more provocative it was mm. more it had mm. more or whatever mm. then mm. even mtu ana dhani ni doctor dre ama doctor alban Yeah, like yeah. it's like when doctor doctor oh yeah, when yeah. kumbe you are actually yeah, yeah so yeah, it's yeah. it's one of those names of kisa ma doctor alban kuna watu wako like goni nani oh baby mini mini millennial bana mini it is baby unajua wase bana ndo naambia watu exercise drink a lot of water so zingine tunaka tuko 30s ama nini tuna tunava earrings tuko na matatus wanaona eh huyu ni gen z huyu ni wetu zizi si ni watu wa kitambo um, so kuna nini but um, so i think we go back to medicine eh? Eh, so kuna mm. vitu kadhaa nime learn kutoka kwako nime find kwa interesting sana i remember there's a time i was watching your video and I immediately went na nikachukua ma ear enzi ntongo hizi ma ear whatever ear buds eh na nikaziweka mbali oh after nikasema eh, eh, eh. i love my ears unajua like i love music mm. so as someone who loves music masikio zangu aga like inajua up there things that i really value mm. so na kongo kiongea je hiyo like the clean up cleaning yeah, yeah because the eardrum is such a sensitive thing eh? mm. and kumbuka unaingiza kitu hauoni si eti kuna yeah, camera yeah. kuona yeah. eh iko mm. karibu ama nini mm. Mm. it's usually just we use our other sense yeah. of touch perception kujua eh hapo usiende zaidi hiyo mm. but mm. Mm. in many occasions and even sis it with kids cuz kids put a lot of stuff kwa mapua yeah yeah iki kwa kwa masikio that's one of the places that you really don't want to risk because you can risk poking yeah so the thing with earbuds is that there's always this misconception looking that to earbud hivi alafu itoe unaona vitu za brown so eti tayari una assume ni uchafu and that's how it used to be hata mamangu hiyo ndo kitu moja my mom without fail kuja hapa nini keti safisha masikio mm, unajua mm, mm, that's cuz ukitoa kitu una, ni, uch, ni uchafu mm, but it's actually good uchafu. your oil your wax mm, it's actually there to protect you mm, kuna kuna hizo hizo hiyo mafuta ina produce ndani ya masikio and then mm, inside the ear you have small hairs called mm, cilia mm, so their job is actually they wave they wave they wave wakit alafu uh, mafuta iko hapo inashika mm, kila kitu inaitoa inaitoa mm, mm, so you just need to wipe outside so ukichukua hiyo yeah. earbud unaregesha uchafu hapo ndani mm. you're removing this wax which is actually supposed to prevent so when mm. bacteria come viruses come it's so easy for them to penetrate because yeah, yeah, it's a clear part ndo ishike eardrum mm, mm. na ikisha ishike eardrum inaanza ku infect mm. and then eardrum the closest organ is either the nose the throat 
mm. or now the brain oh. kwa na bacterial infection wanapata meningitis yeah, yeah. kwanza mtu hii na kuchapa vibaya sana mm. wa mm. was lakini like, imenikumbusha i think this was in 2020 i think at the height of covid ama 2021 mm. ama early 2021 kwa time niamka na uh, one of my ears was blocked and then i had to go see like an ear specialist and i mm. remember they used water mm. in Alafu, it was ear syringing eh, Yeah. Kinini, a lot of wax came out. Yeah. So, so sometimes mm. you can have quite a large amount of that wax that is produced. Yeah. yeah. And then wax is your wax sana sana inafaa soft. Mm. So what happens is your wax in accumulate in a block a lot in a hard in a kwa ngumu. Mm. Mm. So once that happens is you can't really hear well and um if it happens you have to go for ear syringing. Yeah, yeah. What happens is unakuja kwanza tunaangalia tunakupatia to drops za masikio just oil based drops yeah okay kujaribu ku soften your wax mm, kwanza mm, mm. and then now you go for ear syringing it's warm mm. basically normal saline which yeah, is yeah. what we call physiological solution mm. ni kitu ina, inasaidia ku absorb vizuri mm. so you just in in echo either in that ka ile inj, syringe kubwa mm. alafu with a thin tube Mm. flexible tube una push yeah alafu hiyo stuff ina inachomoka tu inachomoka mm. mm. yeah cause mean liko paranoid cause uh, watu wengi wananijua mimi na kwa gaitha earbuds like i have earbuds na headphones mm. so i'm that sort of person utamuona on the streets of nairobi with headphones and my earbuds cause i'm mm. always listening to music so now i was there like ah oh, man nimekuwa nikicheza music so loud that i've nime mess up masikio yangu so ile mm. time vile nilio natizo wax zime alafu nikasikia Like, ah, thank you. Mm, it's usually g- you get a big difference because yeah. it may block kabisa. Mm, mm. Sometimes yes wearing the earbuds for too long mm. can yeah, of can yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. can maybe increase that chance. But sasa zingine tu unapata there are some there are a few people who just mm. work so in a, in a kwanga mob yeah. and also it becomes very hard quickly. Mm, so mm. for such people who are usually we recommend um, some ear drops and just oil based yeah, just yeah. to help lubricate because mm. wako na shida ya kulubricate your maybe mm, there is mm. issues with their mm. those cells. So wana lubricate and all good. So according to you we should never never don't do it to your children, don't mm. do it to yourself. Don't even use your finger. Sasa they usually say okay mm. the scientists say anything larger than your elbow should not be put in your ear. Yeah, yeah. That's what they say. But mm. um kama wewe ni mtu mzima eh at your risk it's not feel, advisable. Okay so so na fatuku yacha alafu now how do you it's just going to clean itself. Most of it clears on itself. Yeah, yeah. Until sasa una, unapata kama uski ndio wende sasa yeah, because we have to we have to see utajuaje lazima mm, tukuangalie mm. na kitu inaitwa otoscope mm. tuangalie hapo ndani tuje kama ni wax ama ni nini mm, mm. eh ama ni infections zingine yeah, zinakuwa pia yeah. infection because i think for for uh, most of us pia kuna ile time mweboeka tu kutukwa hao mweboeka mm. like ni habit pia na feel poor wacha tu, yeah wacha tu nioshe mm. ni kumbe ni Hey, so it's, a, it's also a good feeling. Sasa so, yeah, unajua yeah, yeah. zingine ni hard to but yeah, as long yeah. as you know mm. there is that risk. Eh yeah, una risk. Um, una risk ya ku infection na kuna risk ya kutoboa hiyo ya drum yako. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, oh so uh, so kuna hiyo nilifindikiwa a very interesting. Nini. Another thing pia nili hii ilikuwa interesting and funny at the same time was the way you are saying Luko Z na Raibina mm, as mm. idea gichochote. Mm.